Mark here from MDJ Computing. I have uh, changed my settings for the Grand Theft Auto 5 in the Documents folder. Here's what my settings look like. Some of them are even at a negative here. <laughs> Just so it doesn't run that at all. Uh, pretty thing, pretty much anything that was true on the values are false now. Vehicle, variety, multiplier, multiplier. Is that a negative as well? So I'm going to do is save it. So I've been messing with most of that instead of modding the crap out of the game. And uh, this is going to be an unedited video of it. Sorry that I haven't been around. Matter of fact, would be a good idea to charge this thing. So I have this in 800 by 600, only because it seems like it just defaults back to 1600 by 1200 pixels. Or, excuse me, <laughs> 1900 by 1200. Uh, just the screen itself. It will not go into like an actual native version of 800 by 600. I don't know why it freezes on this part. It really confuses me here. Frame rates just frame frame rate is just jumping up and down. signed in, but I'm offline. God, I wish it was really like that all day long. <laughs> well, I've had the laptop for about a month now. And still working, still holding up strong. Battery life's still pretty good. Uh, this thing is running on the Intel. HD graphics, 405 series, so it's in the 400 series range. Um, to try and make frame rates a little higher, you can actually go into the task manager here and uh, go to the details. Oh, oh whatever shows up. Go down to GTA5.exe, right click it, set the priority, and you can risk it by going into the highest, well not highest, second from the highest priority, and see how it runs. <laughs> Frame went up a little bit. God, this loading screen will take a while though. Too long, we're gonna have to chop it up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it's at about 30 frames per second. Let's see what happens when we put. So, obviously, there is hardly any graphics. And it does take a little while to actually bring those up. I literally had this at the lowest settings possible. I mean, the car looks bad. Looks like I'm floating on, under like <laughs> some ivory paint. Um, 
Um, it looks like I would have to mess with more settings though. Only because this is hardly playable. The frame rate looks way better than it was. My volume's stuck there. <laughs> yeah, looks like it is stuck. But yeah, it is running at a steady 30 frames per second. Now the settings in GTA itself. freaking out because I messed with the, the XML file. So yeah, it's at DirectX 10. I noticed the video memory went down just a tad. I'm running in a window borderless. <laughs> Shadow quality is undefined. I wonder if we can put it to normal and see what happens. And I'll apply the changes. Oh, whoa. Okay, some things are different. Oh, the shadows are there. The streets are kind of coming back. Yeah, if somebody has an XML file, please comment, because, you know, it would help out a lot. Uh, yeah, 25 frames per second is not bad, but it's not as great either. It's borderline playable. Uh, the keystrokes, it, it almost misses sometimes. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Give me some comments below on how I can make this game run a little bit better and... You know, as... <laughs> Hopefully I can see the streets with, uh, any kind of help from an XML file that anybody can send me, or a pre-configured one for an HD Intel graphics. But yeah, I'm surprised to see it's over 20 frames per second, which is a lot better than what it was. So, yeah. Comment below. Subscribe. Help me out here.